It's a very popular spot for photographers, uh, for sunrise photos especially. Here, because if it's rising from there, then, well, it's, I'm screwed. So not a good start. I made a mistake already. I, I should have searched a lot more. Probably not a good idea to hold my Osmo with my tripod like this. It's a day full of failures today. Man, what is wrong with today? All right, so I've waited long enough and I'm out of patience. But one problem. Stairs. Oh, my eyes. Oh, it's so windy. I'm crying. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're out here in Sokcho, which is in Gangwon province. Uh, Gangwon province is located in the east coast of South Korea. Now, you see this building here, um, this thing, yeah, that thing, the beautiful thing. We're gonna shoot that tomorrow morning when the sun rises up somewhere around there because this is towards the east. I need to first find the composition for tomorrow morning. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, we're gonna just walk around this place and find the good composition for tomorrow morning's that sunrise shoot. So I found a rather mediocrely okay place to shoot this thing. Um, by the way, this structure or this building is called Yeonggeumjeong. It's, it's a very popular spot for photographers, uh, for sunrise photos especially, because it's towards the east and the sun rises from somewhere around there. The general direction is <laughs> somewhere there. Um, now the problem is, uh, I can make good images right now. E even right now, the sky is really clean, uh, it's blue, the waves are crashing in, it's beautiful. One problem is that uh, I don't know from where the sun will rise from, so I only have the general direction or idea, and that's a problem. So I think I'm gonna make uh, like two or three shots, I guess, uh, ver both vertical and horizontal, and then uh, I'm gonna apply that to my uh, sunrise shoot next morning. So first, the vertical shot. I've got my polarizer and the three-step filter on. So ISO 100, F11, 1 13th of a second and waiting for the perfect wave to crash in. Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah, that's not bad. So here's the image. I don't have much to say about this image. I just waited for the waves to hit the bottom of the pavilion and make a splash. Since it's just a test shot, I didn't even edit it. Okay, so I just made one vertical image and now I'm gonna make one horizontal image as well. Uh, I'm at about 40 millimeters, so when the sun rises, the sun will be somewhere around, uh, I hope, on the right side of the uh, image, so that, because currently the space on the right side of the image is empty. So I, wanna, I want something bright or something dark there that can really catch people's eyes. Um, the sun, i.e. So let's hope that the sun will be rising from that way, not there. Because if it's rising from there, then, well, it's, I'm screwed. So, uh, I mean, the image is screwed, not, not me screwed, the image, yeah. So anyways, um, the same settings again as the vertical image. ISO 100, F11, 1 13th of a second and waiting for the wave. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure which one is better, the vertical or the horizontal. So leave a comment below and share your thoughts. I don't know which one is better. So here's the image. So this was my second test shot for the sunrise shoot. 
What I had in my mind was, see that empty sky on the right side of the image? That's where I wanted the sun to be. And since I was pointing my camera to the east, I thought the sun would rise somewhere around there. But spoiler alert, I couldn't have been more wrong. Okay, so I just shot this Yeonggumjung thing, uh, this building, the structure, the beautiful traditional style building. Now we're gonna go up a little bit towards the north and then shoot another beach. Uh, there's this beach that I have in mind, which I shot this photo, I'll show you here. And I already talked about this photo in my this week's Let's Talk video. So go check that out. Uh, I'll link it somewhere here or here. And this beach, uh, it has this like rock formations uh, coming in towards you and like the waves are crashing in in between these rock formations. So it's like beautiful. It's, it's a very photogenic beach. So let's go there. All right, so arrived at this beach now. Now I gotta find the composition. The fun part starts now. I actually figured out that I was shooting Yeonggumjung from the wrong side. Uh, I should have shot it from the left side of the building. That's because that's where you can see the sun rising. So yeah, not a good start. I made the mistake already. I, I should have searched a lot more. But, but hey, uh, we're here, so that's what matters. It's uh, it's an experience. It's experience, yeah. All right, so I've got my composition, and it's this uh, something that's I don't know biological. <laughs> I can't explain with this uh, uh, big way towards the uh, water, towards the open water. So. I'm gonna shoot it with my uh, wide angle lens and this will be my foreground interest and the background will be this uh, big water with these two giant rock formations on each side. So let's get to it. Uh, on the second thought, I just made a shot which is uh, not, not a long exposure shot, just a plain old snapshot kind of thing. but. Uh, the composition doesn't seem to be working, so maybe I'll find another one. I'll show you the image still, yeah. So here's the image. Now, I'll explain. This is the unedited image, and as you can see, that's what I had in my mind as the foreground object, which looks kind of disgusting. My idea was that the foreground object and the waterways would lead the viewer's eyes towards the open water. But another problem was that there was no interest there, just more rocks and plain skies, thus a failed image. Find another composition and first let's get the hell out of this place. Ugh, it's so sketchy. There's seaweed everywhere and oh god my camera it can't track me. I'm here. You tracking me? Good. There's seaweed everywhere and it's very slippery. You gotta be careful. Probably not a good idea to hold my Osmo with my tripod like this. But hey, man's gotta make a living, right? Yeah, so please subscribe. <laughs> okay, let's find another composition. All right, I think I'm gonna try this composition. Um, and it, this is a sketch one as well, so I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but uh, the waves are crashing in really hard, so. I don't wanna, whoa, okay. Can you see that? It's actually like almost, man. All right, so lenses, I mean filters, circular polarizer, uh, and probably three stop ND filter. Okay, so my idea is that there are these two rocks and the water is coming in and it's making this uh, almost like mushroom kind of shape, which is, oh, now. Wait, did it work? Let me check. Uh, yeah, it's rather mediocre. Uh, no, I, I don't think this shot also works. I don't know. It's a, it's a day full of failures today. Man, what is wrong with today? Well, I don't want you to wait for the perfect wave with me, so here's the shot if I get one. 
Of course I didn't get that perfect wave. Or I can say, I didn't wait long enough. In my mind, this was already a failed image, so my passion wasn't really there. The idea was to first delete that annoying tripod leg shadow from the bottom side of the image, and capture that perfect wave that would create a mushroom looking circular waterline. But even if I had such a waterline, the sky was too empty, so the image would have been very bland anyway. Not a good composition overall. I just wanted to add a little bit of this thought that I have, which is, uh, so you remember this photo, which I'm showing you on the screen right now? Yeah, one of my best images ever. And this place is not so far from uh, where I'm at right now. So I'm thinking, should I go back to that mountain uh, photography place and shoot that alpenglow that might happen tomorrow morning? Or should I just shoot the scene that I have never shot before, which is the Yeonggeumjeong, that uh, traditional building kind of thing? Yeah, it's a dilemma. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to choose one until tomorrow, so we'll see. All right, so back in the car now, and oh, I've got this dilemma thing going on. This Yeonggeumjeong, this thing, this building will have beautiful lights uh, turn on uh, during the sunset. So I'm thinking maybe I should shoot it during the sunset. So that'll be my sunset scene, which is guaranteed it'll be, you know, beautiful. And maybe tomorrow morning I'll have to wake up early and just drive to that mountain area where I can shoot, uh, where I can recreate that image, but with an open glow if possible. Maybe that's, maybe that's the, um, that's the best way to finish this trip. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's, uh, go somewhere else, maybe a cafe or something and then Maybe I need to drink some tea or latte or something. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I came to this cafe now. They have a terrace. And as I'm starting to make video, of course, they're making some announcements. I hope you can't hear it, but it's kind of loud. It's an ocean view terrace. It's really nice. Actually, I'm going to show you the view here. Look, <laughs> I'm pretty much just all covered with uh, trees, but still, view is a view. So I checked the weather and apparently tomorrow morning it will be very cloudy, which means no up and glow. So yeah, we're not going to shoot the mountain skates, or rather we're just going to stay here. Um, I think this trip will, it will mostly be about shooting Yeonggeumjeong, the building, the traditional building. So tonight I'm just going to wait until the sunset and shoot it when it's all lit up with that beautiful LED lights. And tomorrow I'll shoot it from the left side of the building, not the right side, which I shot this afternoon um, because apparently you can't see the sun from there. so. I was wrong. Didn't search enough. All right, well. Bloody mosquito. All right, so we're back in Yeonggeumjeong uh, area now, near Yeonggeumjeong again. And that's my wife. <laughs> I'm gonna use my um, 24 to 105 lens. So this, I'm currently at the left side of the building, uh, which was supposed to be um, the sunrise spot. So hopefully 
we can see the sunrise from here tomorrow morning and I'm gonna make a test shot I hope after all those failures from the last beach I will finally make some good image now hopefully so let's try and I'm gonna focus uh, to the Yeonggumjang itself the building and make a shot ISO 100 f11 1 8th of a second and let's see it's not bad but um, the waves are kind of strong so let's use a let's use an ND filter yeah okay so I've got my six stopper on and I'm gonna make a shot uh, ISO 100 f11 10 seconds and there we go so let's hope that these waves will be just smooth calm um, you know water texture yeah this is not so bad um, currently there's this sky there's this uh, dark clouds that, that are like covering the sky like like that so it's really adding some nice atmosphere to this image I'm gonna put a little bit more of these this cloud in it so there we go again ISO 100 f11 10 seconds and shot this was the first successful capture of the day the sky was blue to slightly purple and the pavilion was standing under some dark clouds which made for a great moody seascape mood. And the island on the left side of the image kinda balances out this right heavy image. Okay, so good news, the light is on. Now this Yeonggumjang is lit up. Uh, there's orange lights like lifting it up. And bad news, too many people. <laughs> Surprised? Not. Uh, it's a touristy spot, so I guess I'm just gonna wait until these people go away and then shoot it. Plus it's still a little bit bright, so I'm just gonna wait until it gets a little bit more darker. All right, so I've waited long enough and I'm out of patience. I'm just gonna make two or three shots and then just Photoshop it. So I'll just wait until people move a little bit uh, and then Photoshop like two or three images with the parts without people and then I'm just gonna, you know, make one good image. Okay, so here's my out of patience shot. So there you go. This was my second successful capture. It's not so different from the previous one. The lights were on, which added some aesthetic to the scene. And I was really lucky that for both captures, there were no people on the bridge. Okay, so we found this uh, mountain or small hill earlier this day and we tried it before uh, that's where I made the opening of this build, of this video and now we're gonna go up this mountain again and then uh, shoot young Jung from up above probably we'll have some good images but one problem stairs oh, bloody hell Okay, so as you can see, the view from up here is fantastic. One slight problem. <sighs> Too many people. <sighs> wow, it's really dark. It's really hard to compose. I think I'm going to go for a one by one crop. Um, and there are people around me, so I'm going to have to be quiet. I can't make loud noise because it's rude. Okay, so two second timer. ISO 100, F11 and 25 seconds all right so if this image turns out great which i'm not sure but fingers crossed here's the image i said one by one crop but instead i opted for four by five crop with this one when i saw the photo on the back of my camera I wanted to exclude those bright yellow leaves on the bottom side of the image. 
But upon viewing it on my big screen, I changed my mind and decided to leave them in the scene. I am satisfied with this image as it really well captured the beauty of the pavilion at night. All right, so just finished making photos for today. Uh, now we're gonna go back to the car and sleep and wake up early at an ungodly hour and then make this uh, sunrise photo. All right, so see you guys tomorrow. Gotta rest, really tired. All right, everyone. Good morning. It's 5 a.m. 40 minutes until the sunrise. <sighs> Let's do this. All right, so change of plans. Um, and now it's 5.15. And yesterday I said the sun will be rising from the right side of Yeongdeongjang, but apparently in April, it's not so. It's rising from the left side. So we're going to the mountain again to shoot the sunrise and Yeongdeongjang building at the same time. Now, I know you guys are thinking, but RT, why didn't you just use one of those apps that tells you where the sun will be rising from? Yeah, turns out Korea don't have that kind of apps. I searched hard, okay? But we don't. <laughs> So we have to guess it. <laughs> yeah, landscape photography in Korea is hard. It's hard, man, but it's worth it. it looks beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna go up those bloody stairs again and see you there. Okay, so currently the sun is rising and I'll talk like this. Uh, not so loud because there are people around me and it's very windy so I hope you can hear me well. <sighs> so I had to run here to uh, get the good get the good uh, space place for setting up my tripod and uh, I'm not currently bothering anyone by being here so I think this is my optimal spot for making this photo. Now if I walk you through my composition, the sun is still rising up. So currently I'm at ISO 100, F11 and one third of a second, which is a very slow shutter speed uh, when you're shooting the sun. But that's because the sun is not up yet. So let's wait and then we'll see what happens. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's happening. The sun is rising. It's the 5.42, two minutes after the sunrise, but there's a big patch of cloud covering everything, so I can't see the sun exactly rising up uh, behind the horizon. However, above this cloud, we'll be able to see it. Oh, my eyes. Oh, it's so windy. I'm crying. So if I walk you through my thought process, I think I'm gonna shoot the sunrise when the sun is up, uh, like above that, this dark cloud, when the sun is perfectly visible. And then I'm gonna make one long exposure, uh, exposed to the to this uh, structure, to this building, Yeongdeongjang itself. And then when the seawater is just like flat and all that, you know, like almost like painting-ish, I'll photoshop it with that perfectly exposed sun photo. Okay, so I'm currently at ISO 100, f11, and shutter speed, I think, it's gonna go up to 100th of a second. Um, currently at 40th of a second, but it's keep getting faster and faster as the sun is coming up, so I don't know what kind of shutter speed I'm gonna use. I don't want you to wait too long, so if I make this shot, here's the shot. And finally, the image that everyone was waiting for. The sky wasn't so clear, so the sun wasn't clearly visible, but I tried my best to make an image. 
I took two shots, one long exposure for the bottom side of the image, and with a faster shutter speed, captured the sky. What you're seeing is the combination. I like this image. I think it really shows the vibe of Korea, the land of morning calm. So guys, I just made a photo uh, of the sunrise and this place again is called Yeonggeumjeong and this is Sokcho city in Gangwon province. I've already seen a lot of tourists uh, walking around and making photos of Yeonggeumjeong as well so definitely come and check. It's a very touristy spot but also it's very worthy to uh, check out when you come to Korea. So very, very highly recommended. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the photos and if you did, please check out this video next. Uh, I make some good seascape photos in this video as well. So thank you very much for watching and uh, like and subscribe please, it's really helpful. Um, okay, so see you next time.